Before we begin the podcast, I want to I want to talk about something. There was a great film, a great film that was released some period of 1930 in between 1950, sometime around then before your grandma could sit on the bus, sit on the good part of the bus. And in this, the movie was called Cabin in the Sky featuring Ethel Waters and one of the most beautiful black muses that ever walked the face of the earth, Lena Horne. And one of the lyrics, one of the verses that Ethel Waters spit in that beautiful, beautiful Negro musical, she said, there will be a cabin in the sky for me and for you. It just so happens that cabin might not accept Muslims. What's going on with you guys? How you doing? Welcome to People's Paradise Podcast. What's going on with you? How you doing? Welcome to the movement. Welcome to the movement. Welcome to the family. What's going on with you? What's going on with you? What's going on with you? How you doing? What's going on? Um, I am in, I am in the best of moods right now. I'm having a really good time. Um, it is a Tuesday. This is a great, great taco worthy Tuesday. One of my friends actually has this um, weekly event on Tuesdays where he does Taco Tuesdays. I'm thinking about doing that for the podcast when I get to a point where I'm doing live broadcasts in the public, in the coffee houses, in the stores, where you guys will all come and congregate because you want to see the young voice with that, that that lyrical magic that I spit, those verses that I iterate. Um, this is the first day of it being of the podcast being on Apple and iTunes. So I would love for you guys. I mean, <laughs> Apple and iTunes. But I actually do have like a little short song review album that's taken from excerpts of the podcast about song reviews that I had. If you want to listen to that, but this is going to be the first episode that was on the podcast. This is going to be the first episode on the podcast that's been on Apple Podcast app. So if you want to subscribe to that, and please buy it, and I, and I please ask this by all means. Please feel free to give me reviews on my podcast. Please feel free to give my podcast reviews. I would love to need some more reviews. If you are listening to me on the platform that is SoundCloud, I would love your help with that too. Please, you know, let people know that your young boy is out here saucy and giving you guys that great rhetoric. Um, I think one thing I wanted, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, the, the issue I've had with the podcast is I've always been so focused on just like trying to, I've been always so focused on like just trying to come up with all these different ways to market the podcast and i think i i'm trying to get to the point where i'm building a community of the podcast you know that's why for those of you guys who follow my instagram page that's why i do that thing where i say hey if you have any questions i'll make a video about it on instagram so you guys can see just because i want to i want to build the um i want to build the connection i want to build the community with the people who are listening to me so with that being said uh, um i know a lot of y'all have no care to this a lot of you guys who listen to me there actually are a few people who listen to me who are of middle eastern descent who are of malaysian descent who are of west african descent and those generally speak are the places where you find the most uh muslims so um most of a lot of there are some of you guys who do care about this this situation might be close to you guys as are this situation is more close to my heart the supreme court just had a ruling and it was a five to four ruling more or less that they're going to uphold Donald Trump's travel ban that bans immigrants from Im- people from seven countries. Those seven countries are Somalia, Syria, Libya, Yemen, Iran, Sudan, and North Korea and Venezuela to enter in the country. Now, for those of you guys who have forgotten or simply didn't care because you was too busy getting pussy last February or January, whatever you were doing in that in that hour, in that era. The original travel ban that Donald Trump did enforce it was it was it was on mostly Muslim nations, and a lot of people, me included, felt some type of way about that because we felt it was just general broad sweep of racism, kind of like saying all the people from these countries is bad. So we ain't let none of these motherfuckers in my fucking shit. And me personally, because you know if you if you actually um, if you actually actually research. Oh, Barack Obama don't I Barack Obama had a band somewhat similar to that a few a few a few terms a few I want to say a year or so into his into his presidential uh, presidential term. So this is nothing unheard of to do. I just don't like it because I feel like it's painting the it's like a broad brush of painting that whole country, painting all of Somalia, painting all of by well, Painting all of Libya, painting all Somalia, painting all Syria, painting all Yemen, Yemen with the broad brush of just this terrible place where you can find just Muslims, just evil people, just Muslims, and these motherfuckers want to blow up all our Starbucks and Wells Fargo's and FedExes. To me, that's just BS. Now, 
Maybe it's because I'm Negro. Maybe it's because I'm from California. I am a little bit more sensitive to prejudice and some racism than most people are. I was just having this conversation with my cousin about how sometimes I walk into a store or sometimes I walk into a place and a, a woman will walk past me, generally a white woman, and she'll like grab her, which have nothing against white women. But she'll grab her person and like like shove it, like kind of like like I'm about to snatch her person. Or I'll never forget. I always talk about this day. Lodi, California, December 2017. I'm walking up to this place called Fire Wings. Fire Wings is a very, 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 very terrible attempt at ripping off Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm walking up there. There's these two dudes. They're two Mexican dudes. They stand in front of the store. They work there because I can tell they have the Fire Wings shirts on. They're smoking cigarettes. I walk up towards them because I'm about to go into the store. Both these niggas reach and pat for their walls when they see me. I'm like... Nigga, you really think I'm finna I'm finna Wallace snatch you in in bro- Nigga, first off, how many you work at Fire Wings making nine seventy five an hour? My nigga, how much money do you think I think you got? Like nigga, like no, like nigga, no, it's no, 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 no. If I was if I was ever a participant in crime, trust me, you would be. If I was if I was ever a participant in robberies, kick doors, home invasions, or simply just walking up to niggas and strong arming the shit out of them and taking a shit, nigga, trust me, you would be the last on my list. I would rob, I would rob, I, I would rob the, I would rob the voice actor from Caillou before I robbed you, nigga. So with that being said, um, I don't like prejudice, and I guess how you should feel about the travel ban more or less when it comes to that is my personal opinion is how far I don't know it's. It's weird because it's like, and one say this probably conservative, the, the more conservative side, the Republicans will probably say that, you know, he's protecting our country, he's keeping our borders safe. And I mean, in a sense, kind of is. I will say, I will say, and you know, the, the general argument that people will have in retort to that is they'll say, well, if you're going to keep our country safe from these Muslims, from these quote unquote dangerous Muslims who's coming into thousands and hundreds of thousands from Somalia and Libya, they keep our school hall safe from these crazy ass fucking Jimmy Neutron looking white boys who shoot up the whole school, which I don't think that's a false equivalent. I mean, I, you got both of those things. The mass, I don't, you know, I used to say, I used to say those mass shootings in, in school, those mass school shootings where some kid named Howard Ukop will go, Ukop will go in and start, and go and just start shoot up his whole high school during third period. I, I always used to say those school shootings were kind of rare, but then it goes with, but it's good, nigga, in the last two, in the last year, I feel like they've just been happening more and more and more and more again. I think a lot of those, I think a lot of those kids who do have those mental issues, do have those mental defects, they see kids who do do that, and because they feel like they've gotten, because they see them and think they're getting some type of fame from, because they're getting some type of acclaim from it, they think I can follow along with that, and I don't know, like, it's interesting, like, sometimes, I, I, I do think, I do think, I do think the media, and and I can't even blame the media because really it's just the news. You gotta watch the news. I think sometimes the attention and the publicity that the news gives these school shootings is what motivates these future um, mass murderers to say, you know what, I'm gonna shoot up a school too. It's just it's just it's just the thing. It's like it's it's weird. It's like it's like homicidal trolling in a sense. Like it, it's just crazy. So more of the story is is I want you guys to let me know how do you feel about the travel ban? Do you feel it's right to ban these people from coming in our country? I don't like it's kind of hard because I have a very open mind to people coming into our country. I am against illegal immigration because it is illegal. But at the same time, what I will also say, and I've said this multiple times, is it's kind of hard because as humans, humans, we're tribal in nature. And I don't mind a human being self-centered, self-focused only for the economic well-being or only for the only for the agricultural providement of his own tribe. I don't mind that. What I mind is when you try to go to another tribe and treat them secondary, treat them subpar because you feel your tribe is better. That's when we get into imperialism. That's when we get into colonialism. That's when we have a problem. That's when we get into those um, those concepts of manifest destiny, that weird ass crazy ass shit, which I'll talk about another day. That's when you have those issues. I think personally, I think personally, when you, I think personally, it gets to a point, bro, when you got to be like, you got to be like, hey, nigga, chill, nigga, drink some Kool Aid, you know, like. I I think I, I've always said that I think the United States should focus on taking care of our own drive more than taking care of the others because reality is we got a lot of shit that's wrong in this country. We still got gangs going to war every single day. That's one thing I even though I'm still wondering I feel like I feel like when, when Donald, I, feel, I do feel like when Donald I do feel like when Donald Trump's having like that whole all out teenage mutant ninja turtle ass war on MS thirteen 
there is a part of me that does feel like he's really just doing that to try to give them like a to try to make people focus on how bad the immigration population is. I really don't. I I really don't. I really don't. I really don't know how bad MS thirteen is. I, I really don't. I I can't. I can't even begin to tell you if I didn't even know like how serious the issue is. But I will say, being all the way, I will say, being all the way honest, that what was I gonna say. I will say, I will say, being all the way honest, that I am glad he's getting rid of the motherfucker. Because I used to watch, I used to watch those. You ever watch one of those MS thirteen documentary documentaries on um on the History Channel? I think it was National Geographic. Man, them niggas is serious. <laughs> Let me tell you something. They are, they are not playing. They have, they have, they are not playing. They are, they, they are in totality so serious. They, they, they want, they, they, they want. I'm gonna tell you. There's a saying that's really popular right now. It's kind of, like, it's actually kind of like a, a rephrasing of an old saying called "I want all the smoke." Trust me, and I and trust me, and I mean this. They want all the smoke. I'm talking about this: the wood, the, the lighter fluid. Them niggas want all the smoke. <laughs> so, alright, moving on, moving on to lighter things. I did go see The Incredibles too. I did go see The Incredibles too. Um. It was an interesting film. So, I'm going to spoil the film for those of you guys who were too poor in between Sunday and last, the Friday before last, to go see the film. So I'm just gonna, ask, so I'm just gonna say this: What the fuck is Jack Jack's power? Like, does he? So I'm trying to understand: Does he have? Is it that he has 87 powers, or he can just shape shift? That's what I've been trying to figure out. Like he's, he's literally, he's. Li- I've been trying to figure it out for the longest. I'm like, is he? Like what? What? Because in, in, in the last film, The Incredibles two, when you watch The Incredibles two, when you watch The Incredibles two, he did. He had literally. I thought. And see, The Incredibles two was easy because I thought he was just shape shifting. Because The Incredible, I'm sorry, in The Incredibles one, I thought it was easy to see what powers he had because he was just shape shifting. Like in The Incredibles one, I'm like he, he turned into fire, he turned into a monster, he turned into steel. But this one, this nigga shooting lasers out of his eyes, multiplying lightning. Because he is really like the jack of all trades, like a, the jack of all trades when it comes to superpowers. That makes me wonder, like, I don't know, so, it'd be crazy if, like, four movies down the line, he becomes a super villain because he's just too powerful. I don't know, that's actually a good question. So, to those who are listening to me right now, I asked my little cousin the other day, if you, if you could have one, if you had to be, well, you know, I was going to, I was going to say, if you could have, if you could have, if you had a superpower, who's hit my line? If you had a superpower, if you had a superpower that represented your personality, your core individuality, what superpower would that be? What superpower manifests totally in 275% the power that you are, the power, the greatness that you give to the world? Are you funny? So therefore you have a power. Eh, nah, that's, that's not. So nigga, being super funny is not a superpower. Like, I don't know. If I, had a, if I had a superpower, if I had a superpower, my superpower would probably be, if it was based off of a talent I had, it probably would be attributed to my adonis like modern representation of apollo esque beauty but um renai vardavour more than likely probably something attributed to my voice so probably be some weird shit like i can put people to sleep like like sleep that's such a boring power but you know the thing about that that might not be such a bad power if you can if you if you can Nick, joe i saw that bitch you sleep <sighs> Show! I saw the bitch in your sleep. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be such a bad. And Loki, and Loki, hey man, I'm gonna tell you something. And Loki, and Loki, and Loki is not a bad idea. A bad idea to have. Is Loki not a bad idea to have that power? If you think about it, like that actually. That actually would that actually low key would be lit. That actually be a low low key lit power. Okay, so we gotta remember that. We gotta remember that. That'll be my power. Um, I will say, I will say. Um, I don't know. I've always liked it. I've always like. I remember. I don't know if you guys remember when Facebook first came out. When Facebook first came out, you could you used to be able to do all those. You can still do it though. You used to do all those personality tests and see like um. Like, what spirit animal are you? What character from King of the Hill are you? If it was between an orange and an apple and somebody fucked the orange, what fruit would you be? Like, you used to be all those those kind of crazy little personality tests to kind of get a good idea to see who you are. I used to like doing that stuff. I used to, I used to like doing that stuff. 
I used to like doing that just because I've always I've always been on the path of self discovery or trying to find out more about the truth of who I am. I encourage you to do the same. I got a homie, he just got out of the military. And he was telling me the other day about how he has so much free time on his hands. Now he's still trying to figure out like what he wants to do or who he is or, you know, um, he's just trying to figure out like what he wants to do. He's probably going to take some art classes. And I was telling him, man, yes, you're actually in the perfect point because now because you got out of the military, now you're getting a constant check. Now you can just kind of take the time to just sit and really figure out who you are as a person. Just figure out what you enjoy to do. Figure out what really makes you. What 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 are you made of, you know? And um and shout out to my boy AJ by the way he got into a relationship with his girl he he uh, shout out to my boy AJ he got into he got into he got it he got into he got into a relationship with his girl shout shout out to him shout shout out to, shout out to him doing doing his thing being all sexy ebony ivory I'm saying this because he's black and his girlfriend's white ebony ivory in perfect harmony. She's got jungle fever. She's got jungle fever. She's got jungle fever. She's got jungle fever. You know what? Actually, somebody had encouraged me to start doing this podcast where I would play songs of people who I thought were dope musicians, like, like while I'm recording. Um, I got one homie. He has a song I want you guys to listen to. Um, I want you guys to listen to it. Actually, it's a pretty. It's actually, it's a pretty good song. Let me see if I can. Um. It's a song he got. He came. He um, he came out. Let me see if you guys can hear it. Yeah, okay. You guys can hear it. You guys can hear it. Okay, so, so this is my this is my homie. One of the first. This is the only Negro I know from the realm of Norway. I encountered this man four years ago when I was studying at Arizona State University. Great man, talented, great communication artist. He does a mix of his his biggest influences are Ty Dolla Sign and Future. This is a song he had called Hold Up. And he had a few he has a few other slides, but this is one of my favorite songs, Bob. I want to play this song for you guys to listen to it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. His name is Corbs K O R B Z K O R B Z on YouTube or on Spotify. It's Corbs Hold Up. I'm on my way. So don't worry. You've been waiting on me, but hold up, wait up. I say, oh no, momento, mommy. Say, I be there, oh, so hold up. Hey, girl, I be there, oh, hey, so hold up. Wait up, wait up, wait up. Okay, hold up, okay, wait up, wait up, hold up. Girl, I'm laying low. I'll be the life for the party. My music make them bend it, arch it The rhythm they follow like a harpy Focal point, 92, Barkley I'm the man, don't need no game plan Handle my own shit, don't need no stuff, man Whatever I got is whatever I got Get it yourself, move, make me hustle a lot Now what's up? What she got? What she got? It's that round thing, that round thing hey, Yeah, yeah, wanna pound it, I pound it hey, Yeah, yeah, get behind it, behind it hey, Yeah, yeah, work around it she found it, found it. Great cup of killer, the stuff is better. We fly together my way. So don't worry. I know that you've been waiting on me. But hold up, wait up. I say, oh no, we're going to my man. That's the man, Gorb. Shout out to my homie, Corbs. Lighting up the street, lighting up the ears of, lighting up the ears, lighting up the world of, of, of Norway and the world. Shout out to the homie, Gorb. It's weird, so you would be surprised how the bar. That's the greatest thing about living in the year of 2018. You can go to literally any place in the world and find small congregations of people for, that do not belong in that fucking country anywhere. He's half African, half white. But when you go to where he lives, Oslo, Norway, you have actually a lot of Africans who've moved out there actually doing pretty good for themselves. So it's interesting seeing, it's interesting, like, um, it's interesting seeing that like i remember when i first met him that blew my mind like i that's that's the weirdest thing about the world nowadays like you can you don't have to look like half of us don't half of us don't look like where we're from like i remember I met this very beautiful girl at the club a few days ago she's cambodian but she's from stockton california obviously cambodians don't look like they come from the coast and beaches of california but that was where she did i want to just beat her shit but where that these 
Oh my god, I'm so retarded. Moral of the story is, moral of the story is, is, moral of the story is, there's a lot of beautiful people, there's a lot of great things that's happening in the world right now, and a lot of great things that's happening in the world, and it is, it is what it is. Um, and what else we can talk about? Is that it? Is that it? Hmm. Oh, um, something else I'm going to talk about. Something else I'm going to talk about. Um, Wreck-It Ralph is released in November. Um, I do feel some type of way because I did want to become a voice actor for Wreck-It Ralph 2. Um, I missed out. For those of y'all who don't know, I actually do have another YouTube page where I do voiceover work. If you guys want to come on there and see like some of my voiceover impressions, I do Kratos from God of War. I do Thor. I can do, I can't, I can't do Thor that well, but I can do Thor. I do like parodies. You want to check that out? That's one thing I do too. I am interested in getting to a point where I do bring people on here to have conversations, wouldn't have dope conversations, have dope interactions. It's just, it's hard, man, because the people who I be having, like, they be flaking. Like, yesterday I actually recorded an episode with my cousin and his homie in the It's the Grand Coffee House. Shout out to the Grand Coffee House. But the episode was so glitchy because I just, I, I messed up on the audio. So I ended up deleting it when I uploaded it. So for those of you guys who are on SoundCloud, you can wonder why I kept uploading and unloading stuff. That's why, that's what happened. Like, like that's what, like, that's what, that's what, I, that's what happened. Like, I just... I, I the episode the episode just was so glitchy. I was like, bro, I can't even I can't upload this, man. I can't I can't I can't I cannot do the ears of my listeners in such an uncalped way to where they'd have to listen to un, such unpleasant sounds. So that's why I'm focusing. That's why I'm focusing on working through this podcast Monday through Friday. That's why I'm focused on giving you guys great sounds, great concepts, great edit, get great, great rhetoric. Um. I do want you guys to start. I do want you guys to start sending me some more questions, some more topics, some more things that you want to hear from me, some more, some more things that we can talk about. Um, I am like I am, like I said, I am trying to get to the point where I build this podcast up into a um, community setting, more or less, a community setting of kind of like we're just all having just interesting and dope conversations about just everything, just everything, just everything across everything across the board. So, with that being said. With that being with that being iterated, with that being iterated, um, my name is JT. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being a part of the family. This is the People's Paradise Podcast, Monday through Friday, every single Monday through Friday, every single day. See you guys. See you guys in the time. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave us out of here with the corpse, with my other song by my nigga Corpse. This fly. <laughs>